Hey guys, what's up Buckeye Nation? Your boy Big Jim back at you. I know we're all trying to figure this thing out after the Hokies came into the horseshoe and did us the way they did us. It's pretty disrespectful. But you know what? We have Kent State coming into the shoe. It's a great opportunity for us to right the ship, so to speak. And one incredibly wise man whispered in my ear one day and he said, you know what, Jim? He said, adversity makes cowards or champions champions of us all. And I said to this guy who whispered in my ear, I said, Big Jim, I think you're right. <laughs> I'm just teasing. But you know what? There, this is a great opportunity this week for us to right the ship. Kent State comes in in the lower half of a lot of statistical categories in college football. But you know what? That still doesn't mean that we have to take them lightly because I... I do go by another quote. If you underestimate anyone or anything, that actually makes you weaker. Listen, guys, I never believe in the underdog. And the reason why I don't believe in the underdog is because I believe champions are supposed to do whatever it takes to do whatever, whatever they need to do to win, to be on top, and to make it happen. The bottom line is that the Buckeyes are better in every category, special teams, offense, and defense. There's no excuse for us not to just come out here work on some things, pound Kent State, and you know what? Let's get some young guys in the game so their families can see them do some things in the shoe. You got Noah Spence coming back. I don't think that had a whole lot to do with how we look, but you know what? Congratulations, he's back on the field. And you know what? It's another opportunity to see that offense jail. We need that offensive coordinator to actually be the leader of this thing put our players in the best position to be successful. We, we're so concerned about losing Carlos Hyde that we haven't even given the ball to anyone to find out if the next man can step up. There's no reason that we should only have had five carries in the first half by a running back in that Virginia Tech game because there's no way that a play-action pass is going to work when you're not running the ball. This is basic football, guys. But you know what? I'm not going to belabor anything. Listen, I'm a Buckeye till I die, just like you guys. I'm super excited. Um, if you guys get a chance, check out Good Morning Columbus at 745. I'll be there. Also, the football fever with the fellas and um, in front of the stadium, it'll be Clay, myself, and uh, this Mr. Smiles, Obi Stillwell. So come check us out. We appreciate you guys.